Hi, I'm just going to show you today what I have been working on for the power so. Um, I was watching a YouTube channel from one of my favorites, which is, this is the website, the Nor, Sh Nor Sue Girl. Um, she is by far one of my favorites. Um, she shows so much um, on her YouTube channels and um, I met YouTube videos. And I learned a lot from her videos and there was one particular one that I loved and I started going crazy with it was the shadow box. Um, she has a tutorial. I will place it on the bottom of the, of the video, the link, so you can see the tutorial and I'm just going to show you examples of what I'm talking about. Well, this is my first try on the shadow box um, card or whatever she calls them. Um, this is a steampunk uh, inspiration. And I'll show you here. You can see the gear locks. I'm going to bring out the light here more so you can see it. And you can see the Tim Holtz gears. I have a Lindy, Lindy Stamp Gang um, Dragonfly on here. And um, as you can see, I use grunge board here and I try to make all the colors. And this is a paper line from DCW. And it has the gears. So this is grunge board. Um, or grunge paper, sorry, that I colored with Lumiere paints. Um, come in little sizes like this and a package of 12 or 15 of them. So here's that paint, which is um, metal russet. And you can open it here. I use one of the Tim Holtz little fasteners right here. And it opens up and you can see the shadow box. And this is the shadow box that she shows you how to make. And all this is just medium weight cardboard and I use um, duct tape or masking tape and that creates the hinges for this shadow box. And you can see there I made a, a cameo out of the Maya Road chipboard pieces and I embossed them with um, embossing powders. and. There you go, I made a little mini scene there of um, steampunk uh, vintage. And then here's another Maya Road uh, chipboard piece, which is a, a cameo head here. And then I have um, bling here from uh, Making Memories, I think it is. Um, here's a pocket so I can put a little, you know, little tag here and so forth. So, I mean, this was my practice one. I didn't make mistakes as you can see here. I, I used the brad here and I, I did it afterwards so I couldn't cover it. So, you know, practice makes perfect. So this is a small size. Uh, this is, um, let's see, this is, sorry, this is three and a half by four. Three and a half by four inches, this one. Then I went a little bit for the Valentine's theme, and this one's a little bit larger. This one is, I think it's five by five, no, four by four. This is a four by four piece, and I use uh, Sweet Nectar from Kane Company Paper Lime. And then I used one of the I Am Roses here, and those famous cameos from the 99 cent store. And I used some bling on there. And here is the shadow box. I use another, again, that grunge paper um, and color it with uh, Tim Holtz um, inks, platinum or silver ink, and it does close. And here's one of the fasteners. And here's my Valentine theme one, shadow box. And you can see the little Cupid and the little flowers from I Am Roses and little tiny roses and so forth. Um, this is one of those crochet flowers you can get at the dollar fifty bins at Michael's, and that is a sticker from Jolie's. And then on the opposite side, I also put a little cherub um, with lace around it, and I have Carla's um, 001 pearl trim here around. So this is really pretty, and you can lay it on the desk like that, and you can show show off the artwork or you can close it up and put it on the shelf like that. So basically there's, you don't put photos in this. I mean, I guess you can, but I did it more of a, more of art in a sense. And you can give these as gifts for Valentine's as a decoration piece. So this is quite cute. And I went a little bit bigger and I did a six by six. 
And this one is an Alice in Wonderland theme. So I can't close it because I still got glitter on it. Again, um, this is a 6x6 six six, and this is Sweet Nectar um, from Kang Company Paper Lime. And I, I could put a photo in here and that's the 99 cents um, bin at Michael's. And here's some flowers and roses from I Am Roses. And a little cherub there. Uh, that's made out of paper clay and so is the hand. Again. You know, and there's the the only thing I added differently from from her website, um, the No Sue Girl. She doesn't have this flap, and I decided I wanted to close mine. So I don't know. I just like it more, like if it was a book. And here's Alice, and as you can see, the butterflies do flutter. I don't know if you can see that. I put wire, and they move, so they flutter. So it looks like they're flying. And this is um, Alice, one of my Alice in Wonderland um, paper piecing pieces. And then here you have the rabbit. Still, I think it's quite cute. So this is the Alice in Wonderland shadow box. I won't close it because I still got the glue from the butterflies trying to dry off. And then I went a little bit more on the creepy side because I do like creepy art. It's, it is my style. So this one is, uh, where's my, my ruler dropped. I think this is a four and a half by six. And I am using, again, the paper from, uh, it's from Michaels. Michaels only sells it. It came out on Halloween and here's my version of, of a shadow box and I kept the colors and cool tone and I made this skull out of um, from glue gun and those are one of those those faces that changes spooky faces you get at, at Michael's during the Halloween season and I have this banner that says beware and this is supposed to be like the picture of the person that passed away and then inside will be the coffin. I will put a magnet here so this will close better but the whole line is from that I forgot the name of it it's from Recollections line is this one of the yeah the Recollection line for Halloween 2011 so you open it up and then you'll see the coffin and there, there it is. So I put velvet in the background and little roses here and he's, you know, his necktie or whatever. And his little cameo with a skull on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the opposite side, I did my uh, stamped skull. And this is really, this is one of my favorites. So it closes up like this, that, and then I'll have that magnet there that will hold it down like this. I did a bigger version of this too. I did six by six size. And um, did it more of a kind of a Victorian style. Um, again, one of those stickers that changes from Michaels. And I used some feathers and some bling here from Carla's store. And the I Am Roses. And I made a little bling here with the Carla trim. Again, Carla trim with um, some lace that I got from the Recollection. Lace that I got last year. I think this wasn't during Easter time. So this one is a green, yellow, and a light blue um, color theme I got going on so it opens up again this will be the guy that's inside so here is a picture of him before and then here's a picture of him after now this one I put more work into it um I love this one it came out really nice I got a lot of glue string around here but this one will take time to look at so I have a lot of the I am roses and there's a lot of flowers I made out of a punch out 
um, punches that I have for miniature flowers. And there's a skull right there. I don't know if you can see he's wearing a, a top hat. And then he's surrounded in a garden. Again, his, his little cameo there. And he's just surrounded with a garden of flowers. And there's a butterfly. And, and then it says uh, moments in time. Again, the theme is yellow, blue, and um, green. A little bit different than the traditional Halloween colors. Just wanted this to be more romantic and, and, and vintage style. And then this one is, says unforgettable, supposedly is the wife. And uh, that's a paper mache, um, no, paper clay skull that I made. And she's wearing a headband of flowers. And then I made these little, you know, decorations here and there to, to enhance it more. It does close well because I stationed this in the middle so that when it closes, her head goes into his chest. And then it can close properly, like so. I think these make great um, gifts in themselves instead of just giving an album. I mean, they're, they're fun to make and they're easy to make. Just go to her website. I'll put the link below. And you can see how she does them. And I mean, I just added this little door here on the side just to make it look like a book. And I think I'm going to continue making them, but I think I will add pages like she did in her um, tutorial. Um, so there you go. This is what I've been doing for the past two weeks. And um, I hope I'll be an inspiration to you so you can make one too. And especially when Valentine's is up and coming around. Um, well... I like to see some comments and see if you like it or not. I just like to know. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.